If you're looking for the best mixing headphones, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Sony MDR7000 506 Professional Large Diaphragm Headphone. Though Sony has been kind of overrun by many other companies when it comes to professional headphones, the MDR7500 6 are still a good choice, having much to offer at an affordable price. Featuring a sturdy design, these should last you for quite some years. The design of choice was closed back, and we have to say that they feel surprisingly comfortable. The Fordham drivers deliver a solid sound, up to 106B, more than enough for everyday use, as they weigh only 230. Having them on your head all day will leave you with a sore neck. Having a gold-plated 3.5 on the end of a coiled cord adds to a nice look, as well as a slightly finer sound. Sony claims that these headphones provide a nice and flat response. However, we found that the highs pop out a bit more than expected. The mids and lows, on the other hand, were pretty much accurate, making the MDR7506 a nice option as headphones for mixing. The MDR7506 are the go-to Sony Studio Monitor headphones, especially if you're on a tight budget. Definitely offering more than most other cheap studio headphones, these will give you a good audio image of your mixing work. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Bear Dynamic DT770 PRO 80 ohm over ear studio headphones. As the big brother of the very popular D-Tone 150, the D770 PRO from Bear Dynamic is a clear win in the category of the best studio monitors under 200. The clean and minimalistic design of these headphones complements the audio quite nicely. Though the plastic that holds the earpieces is a bit flimsy, working with these in a studio, where they won't endure much stress shouldn't be a problem at all. The padding and the surrounding cloth makes these feel nice and tight, comfortable to wear for prolonged periods of time without any heating up. The amazing frequency response, going as low as 5HC and as high as 35HC makes the D770 PRO one of the best mixing headphones out there. The low end feels amazing. Though it is a bit more pronounced, it is pretty accurate. By having all of the mentioned features, great audio, nice design, and being very comfortable, the D770 PRO are a sure recommendation as one of the best monitor headphones under $200. The number 3 position is held by Shure SRH1540 Premium Closed Back Headphones. Stepping up from the previous models, the SRH1540 by Shure is one premium choice when it comes to best quality headphones. But how do they perform in the studio? The first thing you might notice about these bad boys is that they are no standard plastic headphones. The material of choice here was airplane-grade aluminum, giving them both amazing durability and a sleek look. Even though they are made of metal, the SRH1540s are fairly light. At 286 grams, with a padded headband and cushioned style ear cups, these headphones are amazingly comfortable to wear. Getting the mids and highs right is fairly easy amongst headphones in this price range, while the low end can be a problem as it requires more space to resonate. The SRH 15540s, however, don't have a problem with providing the user with enough bass. Shure has once again shown that they know their business. Their SRH 1140s offer not only premium build quality but balanced and natural sounding audio. We would recommend these as one of the best studio monitor headphones if the around $500 price point isn't a problem for you. Next at number 4 we have Sennheiser HD6 100 Open Dynamic Hi-Fi Professional Stereo Headphones. Though we previously explained why we prefer closed back headphones to open back ones, we felt that including the Sennheiser HD600s was only fair. Highly regarded as one of the best headphone brands, Sennheiser opted for an open back design for these puppies. Though there is certainly going to be some audio leaking and out of these headphones, the rest of the specs definitely make it worth. The body is made of plastic, and the mesh that covers the open back is metal. As expected from Sennheiser, comfort isn't questioned. Wearing these the whole day won't leave you with a nasty headache. Paying attention to all the details, the cable is an oxygen-free copper one with extra Kevlar reinforcing and can also be detached for easier transport. 
Popping these on your head immediately gives you the clear impression of them being more than studio quality headphones. The overall quality and definition of the sound are a match by most other competitor models at this price range. Sounding really warm, they do lack a bit in the low end, but nothing too bad. Rich with neat little design features and offering premium audio at a reasonable price, the HD 600s are some of the best sounding headphones that we've had the chance to try out. A warm recommendation anyone in need of good headphones for their music production studio. The number 5 position is held by AKG K240 MK Roman 2 Stereo Studio Headphones. As yet another company known for making top plated headphones, AKG has taken an interesting approach with their K240 MK Roman 2 model. Featuring a semi-open design, the idea was to have the best from both worlds. A slight portion of the sound is going to leak out in order to prevent excessive buildup. Outside noise shouldn't be a problem as turning the volume up a bit is often enough for the signal audio to overpower the surrounding sound. A design which we find very useful is the self-adjusting headband. Not only does it provide the perfect fit, it also prolongs the life of the headphones by avoiding the plastic slider mechanism, which is the part that breaks the most often. Audio is well balanced, with both bass and treble having that needed kick. The K240s are all about precise and accurate sound representation. As a well-rounded pair of monitors, the K240s are cheap studio headphones with surprisingly solid performance. As they cost less than $100, they are a great way of getting into sound mixing and production. These are also highly praised as the best headphones for EDM production by Reddit users. The number 6 position is dominated by Beats Studio Wireless over your headphone. You either love them or hate them. The Beats by Dr. Dre series of headphones has had quite a presence in the media for quite some time now. Are they a pair of good studio headphones, or just a smart marketing gimmick? Unlike the rest of the Beats series, the Studio Wireless were designed as monitor headphones. Without the unnecessarily huge bass boost, they're famous for. This model is actually a good option for studio use. The design is sleek and feels less bulky than other Beats models. Spongy earbuds are made of memory foam and covered in leather making these headphones very comfortable to use. As these are wireless, battery life plays an important role. With around 12 hours of audio performance, the Beats Studio Wireless can be relied on for the whole day. The audio is well balanced and luckily is bass heavy to a reasonable extent. A great feature that is included is the active noise cancelling, with two different modes of operation. One for listening to music and the other for complete audio isolation. Having a unique approach and a defined audience, the Beats Studio Wireless managed to perform quite well in our studio. The fact that there are no cables involved makes working long hours way easier. However, with a high price at around $400, this model is, at least in our opinion, for rap and R&B enthusiasts who, at the same time, prefer a more stylish option. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Audio-Technica ATHM 50X Professional Studio Monitor Headphones, dominating the audiophile headphone market for quite some time. Audio-Technica presents the ATHM 50X, which we chose as the best studio headphones when it comes to quality. As an upgraded version of the famous M50s, the M50X offers some new and quite useful features. The 45M drivers with rear earth magnets are sure to give anyone a unique listening experience. Perfect for traveling and safe storing. The 90-degree swiveling cups fold up neatly. With high-quality materials and flexible build, the M50s are going to last a long, long time. Unlike most other professional studio headphones, the frequency response isn't flat. The curve is a classic V-shape, with more accent given to lows and highs. How come that they are even considered as studio monitors then? Well, the overall versatility that they provide simply overpowered the need for a truly flat response. The M50X can be used for just about anything, from casual music listening sessions to basic audio mixing and producing. As definitely the best sounding headphones for different use scenarios, the ATH M50X are a great investment considering the price point of under $150. While some audio engineers may not consider them as the best studio headphones for mixing, they certainly can find an audience for that as well. The number 8 position is held by V Moda Crossfade LP2 Vocal Limited Edition over ear noise isolating metal headphone. Maintaining a cool look while still being one of the best sounding headphones for studio use, the Crossfade LP2 by V Moda are the best looking headphones on the market. The design reminds of some gaming headphones I've had the chance to use. The outside features a plate with visible screws, 
giving the headphones an industrial and sturdy look. The Fiftim dual diaphragm drivers provide a natural and vibrant bass mids and highs, without any overlapping of the different frequencies. Featuring a slight boost in the low end shouldn't be a problem even for the most avid lovers of pure flat response headphones. With passive noise isolation, any outside sounds are easily cancelled, which is important especially in studios. Probably the point in which this model stands out the most is the durability. The ultra-reinforced cable coupled with a flexible headband and weather-resistant earcups make the Crossfade LP2 a sturdy pair of headphones. As the best-rated headphones when it comes to design and quality, the Crossfade LP2s by Audio-Technica provide a solid studio monitor experience while looking damn fine and guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Next at number 9, we have Sennheiser Pro Audio HD 280 PRO headphone. Yet another great model from Sennheiser. The HD 280 Pros are the best headphones for music production if budget is a factor. The overall design of these bad boys is pretty satisfying. The headphones can easily be folded up into a more compact format, perfect for traveling. Though plastic was the material of choice, the 280s feel solid and most importantly comfortable. The thick padding on the headband and ear cups feels very soft. The coolest thing about this model is the fact that every single piece can be replaced, except the drivers. So even if you manage to break or lose a piece, you can always get a new one easily. As far as sound goes, the fact that these provide a frequency range of 8 HZ to 25 HZ and a noise-canceling feature of 32 B should be pleasing enough for most users, considering the reasonable price point of around $100. The Sennheiser HD 280 Pros are one of the best production headphones in that price range. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by KRK KNS 8400 on ear closed back circumoral studio monitor headphones. And finally, we have the KMD 8400 by KRK at number 10. Though not that well known of a company, this model shows that they too know their business. The KN8400 feature a closed back design with very soft ear cup padding. The headband provides a nice resting place for the top of your head, with two large cushions as well. Having a detachable cable is a neat option, which is also included in these headphones. The cable also has a built-in volume slider so you can adjust the volume at any time. The Ford and Neodymium drivers are more than capable of pushing out quite a punch. An amazingly broad frequency response of 5 HZ to 23 HZ delivers natural sound with a kick in the bass and clear highs as any of the best headphones for mixing have to offer. The KN8400 provides excellent sound isolation, so no audio comes in or out of the ear cups. KRK has shown that you really can make a pair of the best production headphones with all the necessary specs and features, and for a reasonable price. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.